Hey guys welcome to the challenge number seven that is product sales analysis one so this is the title of our question that is product sales analysis one and we are going to solve our challenge number seven of fan company's sql questions list now we are provided with the two tables that are sales and the columns name are given over here with the type the sales ID and year is the primary key of the table and the product ID is a foreign key to product table. So the product table is our next table that is next to the sales table and the ID that is primary key of that product table is foreign in our sales table, right? So each row of the table shows the sales of the product and the product ID in the certain year. Note that the price is per unit. So these are the description related to our first table. Now come on to the next table that is product we are given here with the two columns that is product id and name the product id is the primary key of this table and each row of this table indicates the product name of each product now what are they asking from us so basically they are just writing uh, the question as write an sql query that report the product name here and price for each sales id in the sales table and return the resulting table in any order so let's just check the input of the table right here as you can see the sales table that they have provided here as sales id product id years and in the product table they have just putting the product id and product name so the output shows us that wherever the product id is same so we just have to return that value as our output so you can see the nokia and apple are just giving uh, returning as an output right so we have to create the report of the product name, year and price for each sales ID in the sales table. So this is the easy kind of question in which where we will be um, just applying the left joint to solve this question right here. So the concept behind that is you can see the sales ID and the product ID wherever the product ID is same you just have to return that product name air and price so the acceptance rate of this question is 82.4 percent that is almost very high that many of the people can easily solve this question so go on to the scripting side of this portion and just write the sql script as select b dot product name i am just using the b as alias for the second table and a alias for the first table for just creating the left join so basically b dot product name comma a dot years comma a dot price these are the three columns from the sales table that have an alias of a and after that you just have to put the left join and just write the second second table that is product and give the alias as b now you just have to compare the primary keys over here after the keyword on you just have to write a dot product id is equals to b dot product id so wherever the product id match it will show you the result so when you just run the code and it will just show you the accepted runtime is 187 millisecond that is our case number one and as you can see that the output is same as the output they have provided and expecting from us so we are just done with our question and we have just solved the question very well just submit your code and your question number seven has now been resolved so this is the easy kind of question that we have attempted in this video and we have just beaten 48.36 percentage of the people so this is a high percentage that we have beaten the many people in this question just right here as note of problem number seven solved and hopefully you just like the video if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned stay connected meet you in a next question that is our question number eight